YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is MLB 16 the show row the show with Rashad Bolton this is episode 90 and we're getting ready here for a quick series here at home as we have a uh, quick homestand here against the Pittsburgh Pirates a three game series against them in today's episode and we'll see them in action here in just a bit but there you take a look right now Pittsburgh's just a game behind the Reds right now in the NL Central as for us in the NL West, we're just a half a game behind the Dodgers, and we're just in striking distance of getting a lead on them and hopefully be in first place by the end of this episode. So we'll see what we can do here in this uh, in this series. Now, as for Bolin, in the last episode, we see he had a great performance there on the road as he has hit, I believe, one, two, three, four, five... Six home runs in that series there. Uh, three in uh, Philly and three in the Nationals ballpark. So he is hitting very, very well. And, of course, uh, put you know stacking up some uh, victories here, helping out his ball club here. As, of course, now they're in position now, just in second place now in the National League West. So we'll see what he can do here in today's game as they're back home here at Peco Park. Now, remember, he's only hit two home runs so far in this ballpark this season right now. All the rest of them, um, I believe the other 11, have been on the road. So, uh, we'll see if he can hit home run number three here at Peco Park. And you see there McCutcheon and Bolden posing there before the game. We'll see there, you see Lee's right now, the Padres in home runs with 13. Bottom of the first here, runner on for a second. That's going to be a hit out to shallow right field there. That's going to score a run here. And that's going to get Bolden in swarm position here at second blaze base now as he is in really good position and uh, this ball club just hitting very well here taking those extra base hits there that's what you like to see from your ball club and there you go got a lead here now it's a one nothing lead here in the first as uh, we'll take a look here at the replay and Bolton just hits that one all the way back to the warning track so Jed Jerko up the bat here top of the first with one out and we'll see what Jerko can do here for Bolton Hopefully get him in scoring position here and may possibly score a run from second. So 0-1 count here for Jerko, the pitch. Jerko gets a hold of this one. That's going to be a chopper there to first, and that's going to get he, – he'll get tagged out there at uh, first there by the right fielder tagging the back. So nice job there from Jerko getting in scoring position. Now Jackie Spawn coming up. There you see his numbers for the month of April and May. Doing very well there in home run department there in May but not so much in the average. So there you see his averages and home runs and RBIs for both months. We'll see here, 0-2 count here for him, bottom of the first two outs. Can he knock in Bolden and try to get a second run here in this inning? Spawn hits at one out to right field, and Bolden will be left stranded there at third. So good job there, trying to get score the runner there, but just not enough as that one ball goes right to the right fielder there for the out. Bottom of the third now, 1-2 count here for Bolden. Bolden gets a hold of this one. This is going to go out to uh, left center field there. That's going to go all the way to the backstop. Bolden is going to score or to, to get a double there and also drive in a run there. So nice job there for him as, again, he is a just a RBI machine right now. Hitting that one in the gap and helping out this ball club here as they are very hot right now. So 2 nothing here, bottom of the third here. Jed Jerko up to bat. 0-1 count for Jerko as he has a runner there aboard at second. Bolden's going to try to see if he can score. 1-2 count here for the Padres batter here. There you see Jerko makes the hits that one off the shortstop there. Shortstop can't make a play. And that's going to score a run from second there. Nice job. Now 3-0 here. Padres lead this one. As you see here, the skipper coming out for the Pirates here. Talking to his... Uh, pitcher now and trying to see what is on his mind here right now got to get him back in the game getting refocused here and trying to get out of this inning here by just giving up no more runs it's now three nothing here bottom of the fifth two outs nobody on board here for Bolden. 0-2 count for him we'll see a swing and uh, there you see that circle change right there gets on him and he will strike out so Bolden looking pretty good here so far as he is now driven in two of the three runs that are in the, on the board right now for the Padres. As now we go to the bottom of the eighth. 
uh, down or we're up by two. We'll see here Bolden up to bat 2-2 two -two count and that two seam fastball gets on Bolden right there. He can't connect on that one. He is now two for four in this ball game here. As you see there, he is now just not too happy about that strikeout at all. Saying that was that ball was nowhere in the strike zone there at all. But of course he swung at that one, so hey, it's a strike. Cashner gets the victory there as the Padres win this one three to one. Bolden two for four in the ball game, a run and a, a, uh, two doubles in the game. As we take a look here and see that Dylan McGee for the Mets has been traded to the Padres for Max Francisco, uh, third baseman of ours, a young guy. So we're going to get a young pitcher here, hopefully help out the pitching staff. And that's something that was a concern last season that the Padres needed was some young pitching there, and they got that from uh, McGee. So um, McGee, uh, or D is up. He's with us now. He's part of the. I believe he's going to be a part of the rotation as a spot starter. So we'll see how that fits, and we'll see. Hopefully, maybe a debut from him here pretty soon. But Joey Mercer up the bat here for the Pirates who get as we start game two for this uh, three-game series here, and we'll see what he can do. Uh, Mercer can do here. Bolden up to here at first here. Let's see if we can make a play here. Full count from Mercer. One out. And the pitch, and that's going to be a bun right here. Bowden gets the first, and can he tag the bag? Yes. Oh, no, he cannot. He cannot go hold on to the ball there. He tagged the bag, but couldn't hold on to the ball. And that's going to get Mercer a free base here. That's going to be an error on Bolden. His first error here as a first baseman here this season. As you take a look here, looked like he had the ball there. I don't know what happened, but, yeah, he turned his glove uh, in, in the, you know in a regular way there, but, I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. So he's going to have to come back here on offense and try to see if he can try to put something on the board here for his ball club. As uh, you see there, his numbers for the month of May. Hitting very well here. Over 400 right now. Nine home runs and 23 RBIs. So the bottom of the first here, one out. And we'll see here. Bowling will get underneath this one. Okay, you're trying just a little too hard there, kid, as he pops this one out. And that will retire him with that at bat. All right, so we'll see here. Bottom of the second, or bottom of the third now. Two, uh, old two count for Bolden. He'll hit that one to the shortstop there, and the shortstop will make a play there and retire him on that at bat. So now, over two now here for Bolden here, and you know he's got to get something going. I think that error is still in his mind. So the bottom of the fifth here, we're down by a run, four three. Oh, we got the runners at first and two outs. And Bolden will hit this one right to the shortstop right there. Getting the force out there at second. And uh, he had good contact there, but just not enough contact there past the infield to make a reasonable base hit. So now we go to the bottom of the eighth here. Five threes, your score. Two, or nobody aboard, or excuse me, one on board. Nobody out. And we'll see here what Bolden can do with a 2-2 pitch. And Bolden gets this one. He connects on this one. This is going high and deep. That ball is gone. It's out there in the center field concourse. That is a two-run shot there for Bolden as he helps tie this ball game back up. Five all here. And nice job. Yes, definitely base, goodbye baseball as the Padres tie this ball game back up. And the fans are ready to go. This is now his third home run this season in this ballpark. And that will be his 14th uh, overall here in this season when it comes to home runs. But it's only his third in this ballpark this season. Yeah, guys, he has not been uh, very liked here in this ballpark at all. So we'll have to try to see if we can change that here as we play some more home games. Hopefully uh, the ballpark will warm up to him here and uh, he'll be able to hit, hit some home runs. He's used to hitting home runs, pulling them out to left there. Uh, against the bill, uh, brick building out there, but he just has not done that this season. So the final score, seven to six, is your score as the Padres get the victory there. One for four there for the Padres as the Padres get the victory. Now move on to the next game here, pitch hit situation, game three, final game of the series here. Bolden goes for a pitch and yep, he cannot connect as that's 0 for one there for Bolden as he strikes out there and that four pitch at bat as Kendrick just does a great job there, uh, making sure he can keep him off the bases there as you see the Padres lose this one of a final score four to nothing as uh, Bolton goes over one in that pitch hit situation and they do not sweep the series but they do take two out of three there and they're gonna move on here to another road trip here coming up 
as they have a six game road trip in seven days as you see there uh, they got three against Milwaukee and then they have a day off and then they go uh, to Chi-Town in the north end of town to play the Cubbies in three games there so that'll be in the next episode in episode 91 and we'll see what they can do against uh, both of those ball clubs right now who are I believe in uh, I think in third and fourth place right now no in uh, fourth and fifth place right now both are 11 games out of first place right there in the central as we look we're in first place right now in the NL West looking very hot right now as we got a half a game lead over the Dodgers and we'll try to see if we can extend that lead here coming up so thank you guys for watching here as uh, we'll continue this series here with Rashad Bolden here on MLB 16 the show if you guys enjoy the video please leave a like also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more row the show with Rashad Bolden not to mention you guys can follow us on Facebook Twitter and Tumblr uh, the links are down below for the latest in news and in sports gaming information here on the channel so thank you guys so much for checking us out today Hopefully you have a great day, and as always, keep yourself healthy, and I will see you guys next time.